The terroir of the Champagne region is truly distinct, and one of the major reasons why this fascinating region produces the best sparkling wines in the world. The combination of the region's soil, climate and viticultural practices are unable to be replicated anywhere else. Geographically, Champagne is actually the most northerly wine region in France, resulting in a low average annual temperature of just 10 degrees Celsius. This cool temperature means that grape ripening can be extremely unpredictable, one of the key reasons why producers blend different vintages to produce non-vintage Champagnes. This cool climate is optimal for producing wines of high acidity, one of the key attributes of good sparkling wines. Most notably, however, are the distinctive chalk soils of the region. In this region, we have what we call in French le terroir. It's a combination of geological uh, factors and climatical factors. We are here sitting on the top of between 200, 300, sometimes 400 meters of chalk, combined with a semi-continental climate, which is very, very cold in the winter. And the association of these two combinations, geological chalk and semi-continental climate, makes Champagne really totally unique. These chalky soils can be found throughout Champagne and are home to hundreds of kilometers of tunnels that were originally dug by the Romans. Dating back almost 2,000 years and originally dug as quarries, these tunnels have become the storage and aging facilities for hundreds of millions of bottles of Champagne. Buried up to 30 meters underground, they provide the ideal conditions for aging and maturing Champagne. As well as providing perfect storage conditions, the chalk soils fulfill a vital role in sustaining the region's grapevines. That's that? chalk. Chalk. That's exactly the same one you can use to, to, write, to, to write on, on the board. The, okay. Look at my hands. See, it's easy. In Champagne, uh, the soil and the subsoil is made of chalk. And thanks to that, uh, the vines are going to be capable to retrieve their nutrition and their water as the main nutrition because it's, the chalk is a sponge. During the, the winter, we have a lot of rainfalls, and during that time, the chalk is just starting to store and to stock the water. And when necessary, the vines is going to just retrieve the water that is needed to grow the plants and to mature the fruits. So when we are just harvesting, we can have long period of dry seasons. That's exactly what we had uh, this year. And you can observe behind you, all the leaves are green because they didn't suffer from water stress because they had enough reserve of water. And you go in many other regions than Champagne, when there is lack of water, you will see some leaves that are going to be suffering from uh, lack of water everywhere but in Champagne. That's something quite unique. Then when you're going to harvest, of course, we know that this chalkiness is going to be part of the style of Champagne. And whatever it's Pinot Noir, Chardonnay or Meunier, uh, the chalkiness is going to be captured into the juice of all the varietals. So our job is to uh, make sure that uh, the chalkiness will be reflected in our wines because it's part of the identity of Champagne. In some place in Champagne, you have chalk plus clay plus sand, etc. Mm -hmm. But the main and leading elements of the soil will be the chalk. It is not only the climate and soil that define Champagne terroir, the cultivation of the grapevines, known as viticulture, is also very particular to the region. Everything here is hand-picked, right? Correct. Uh, everything has been hand-picked, which is unique to, to Champagne. And as you know, we are making white wine from black grapes. Yep. So which means we have to avoid any contact between the skin that contains the color compound and the juice. Otherwise, when pressing, we are going to have a red juice and it will not be possible to make white wines any longer. So we are, every time you, you start cutting the grapes, you have to rush to make sure you press it uh, the, the shorter, the better, to, to keep uh, all the, the components uh, of the grapes. Many of Champagne's unique viticultural practices, such as hand harvesting, are enforced and regulated by the region's agricultural governing body, the CIVC. Established in 1941, this regulatory group was created to protect and manage the quality of Champagne's production. Under CIVC regulation, the whole of Champagne is defined as a single appellation and for producers to label their wines as Champagne, they must abide by a number of strict laws. Là aussi, c'est ce qu'on appelle l'appellation d'origine contrôlée. Tout à fait. Donc, euh, AOP maintenant. On en parle d'AOP maintenant. D'appellation d'origine protégée. Ok. Et euh, donc, il euh, y a un cahier des charges euh, qui nous impose certaines, euh, certaines choses. 
dont euh, les densités de plantation en Champagne. Donc en, euh, on est sur des densités très élevées. Hein. En général, on est aux alentours de 8000 pieds hectares en moyenne. Okay. Donc on oscille entre, euh, on va dire, 7500 pieds pour là où c'est le moins dense, jusqu'à à peu près 10 000 pieds. Et donc tout ça, c'est euh, inscrit réglementairement. On a des distances euh, minimales à respecter entre les rangs, euh, entre les pieds, et on ne peut pas aller au-delà. Donc okay. c'est réglementé. Donc bon, la réglementation, elle vient aussi du bon sens. Euh, en Champagne, on est sur des terroirs très septentrionaux, donc très au nord. On est en limite de répartition de la vigne. Et le fait d'avoir justement cette euh, densité hectare élevée euh, permet de créer une concurrence entre les pieds de vigne qui permet de faciliter aussi la, ce qu'on appelle la mise à fruit, donc le, le fait de générer des grappes qu'on n'aurait pas forcément si on était sur des, des densités de plantation plus faibles. It is these protected viticultural practices, as well as the unique soil and climate, that make Champagne the perfect and most recognized region in the world for sparkling wine production. Ultimately, every producer in Champagne will use whatever is at their disposal, be it the climate, soil or viticultural decisions to make the best wines possible year after year. <laughs>